So <laughs> if, if Hugh wants to talk up Brock, so be it. I think he is not a legitimate option for the Browns this year. Number three, because he was bad last year. Number two, because he was bad last year. <laughs> Number one, because he was bad last year. Listen, you can say that you want a clean slate. It is not going to wipe from the memory banks that you were handed a $72 million contract, a starting job, one of the best defenses in football, and your playoff team benched you because you weren't good enough. He was bad. I don't know why we would think all of a sudden he's going to be good here. If you Bug. really think he was that bad last year, why don't you ask him why? Oh, wait, you did ask him why. Proofs in the film. How'd that go? <laughs> Listen, we already know how they feel. They made themselves very clear when they made the deal for him. But maybe they've changed their mind. They people changed are making their mind. indications. Come on. They've changed their mind. He, Brock has swayed them. He's a different guy. Second, bud. he is not Hugh Jackson's style of quarterback. Hugh Jackson can talk about how he's got more flexibility in his hips for a big man. I don't care about that. Hugh Jackson doesn't want this guy as his doesn't quarterback. Doesn't Hugh want big, strong arm guy? He doesn't want somebody who can move. All right. And number one. I don't think they have any more interest in bridge quarterbacks, and I think you would agree with that as a, as a philosophy. I don't think they see him as any long-term answer, so why invest time in him now? Why not try to play somebody who actually might be part of your future, whether it's Kessler or Kaiser? Because if, he, if Brock Osweiler, if you think he might win you six games this year and Kessler or Kaiser is going to win you three or four, who cares? Probably Hugh Jackson.